Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. Now today we're going to be doing the third of four recipes in the Simply Cook um, subscription box that I reviewed um, in the first video along with the first recipe um, and this is the third recipe of four. So there's one more to come so look out for that. Today we're going to be doing a seafood risotto. Now, um, if you haven't seen the review of the other two recipes, let um, me check them out on the cooking playlist and I'll put um, the links in the description as well. So, um, risotto, some people um, might think it a bit daunting, but if you follow my step-by-step -step guide, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, and um, just uh, quickly, if you haven't seen, you don't know about the Simply Cook, um, they give you the recipe, they give you an ingredients list on the side and also they give you the step-by-step -step instructions and what you need for it. So, uh, let's get on with it and let me know in the comments um, if you've tried any of these recipes from the description box and what you think of it as well. So, uh, let's make this seafood risotto. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is heat one teaspoon of oil in a non-stick pan. And we need one that's got a lid um, as well, because what we're going to do first of all is we are going to um, uh, put the onions and the celery in. So this is one onion that's been uh, finely chopped. Now add that in. And then we're also going to add um, celery about... 80 grams and this recipe will make uh, for two two people that celery in there okay and then what we want to do is we just want to put the lid on so they soften for about three to four minutes okay so that's on we put that on a medium heat so meanwhile what we're going to be doing is we have 700 milliliters of uh, boiling water here and then what we're going to do is we're going to mix the first of our pots now you get in each recipe you do you get three pots inside and they're labeled so you know which one to use and it tells you which one to use and when to use it so um, the first one we need to use is the seafood stock. As you can see, it's labeled on there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix that in with 700 milliliters of boiling water. Now, um, as I said before, the good thing about these subscription boxes is that obviously all the stock and everything is done for you but um, it depends you know on where you are on your cookery journey whether you think it will suit you or not or um, you know whether you like preparing um, the stock and uh, you like preparing the herbs and spices because it is 9.99 a month they do do a trial for a pound and um, the review I did um, was an independent review it's an honest review not being paid for it so it's all honest so you can um, check that out like I say if you want to so this is the um, seafood stock so let's add that into the water and then we will give that a mix get all that out Get that all into the water and then we give it a mix. Now the vegetables have had a couple of minutes, so we'll give them a couple more minutes. Okay, let's give that a stir around. I think that's all nicely incorporated now. And then the next stage will be to um, add the rice. We're just going to give the vegetables a couple. 
couple more minutes. Okay, so they've had a couple of minutes. We're now going to add about five grams of butter. Let's let that melt in. And then we're going to stir in the citrus and fennel mix, which is our next pot. Got a lovely um, smell there of citrus and fennel, so I add that in. Give that a bit of a stir, so we're building up all the levels of flavour here. Now we want to turn up the heat a little. We're now going to add our rice. This is uh, rice that you use uh, specifically for uh, risotto. So it absorbs uh, the liquid a lot better than just normal long grain rice. So we're going to add rice in and stir for about a minute. Nice lot of colours in there now as well. Give that a good stir for about a minute. So that's had about a minute. We're now going to add a third pot, which is our white wine reduction. So get that in there. Break that out. And also, we're gonna, also going to add um, a little splash of stock as well, just to stop. Just to stop it from sticking. Give that a good stir now, and then we're going to turn down the heat slightly as well. Okay, and then moving on to the next stage, we're going to turn the heat down, which we've done, and begin to add the stock just little by little. A good idea is to get yourself a ladle. We do a ladle of stock at a time. Just move that over. So just give it a stir. And then the rice will start to absorb that lovely liquid. So we won't add any more until that liquid has been absorbed by the rice. Well, like I say, let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these recipes, what you think of them, what have you added to them. This is seafood risotto. We're going to use mussels, prawns and squid rings, but you could use all prawns if you wanted. You know, you could use whatever you fancy, really. That's what cooking's all about, taking the basic recipe and making it how you want it. Now you can see that rice has absorbed all the lovely liquid now. So we're now going to add another ladle. And then we just keep doing that until all the stock has been used. There we go. Give that a stir and let it absorb until we've used all the stock.
So the process for um, adding all the stock uh, and being absorbed by the rice should take around about 20 minutes. Like I say, just make sure that the rice has absorbed the liquid before you add any more. As I say, risottos might seem daunting to make a bit, you just do it, prepare all your ingredients and do it step by step. Have everything to hand and you'll find that it will be um, a simpler process than you may think. And also, um, you know, then you can go on to other risottos um, using different uh, meats, different ingredients, different vegetables. Okay, so that's beginning to absorb again and then we'll do another ladle and then we'll just repeat the process until it's done. Okay, so now all the stock has been um, incorporated, the rice has absorbed it all, it's now got a nice creamy texture. Just going to, um, as you can see how the rice is. Yeah, that's just about right. Um, now, you may not need to use all the stock if the rice is done, um, so just keep tasting it and judging it and then if you run out of stock before the rice is done just add some boiling water okay so nearly there now so all we're going to do now um, is we're going to just add the um, seafood in got 200 grams here of prawns um, mussels and squid now you could like I say uh, use more prawns if you want or just use prawns, whatever you want to use. I'm just going to give that a stir, incorporate that in. And I'm just going to cook that for about two minutes. And the smell of, of the fennel and the citrus flavours, the herbs and the white wine all coming through there. And then all we've got to do after that is just add 10 grams of butter and then we'll cover, put a lid on for about two minutes uh, and then it will be ready. So you can see that's, um, you know, it's not, it's not difficult. It's just, um, just need to have a bit of patience because you're adding the stock bit by bit and just make sure that you wait till the rice has absorbed the stock before you add any more. And this seafood is cooked, you could use frozen, you could use uh, fresh seafood. Um, and if you're using frozen, just a little tip, just weigh out a bit more um, than uh, say 200 grams for this recipe because you'll find obviously that um, once it, if you haven't defrosted it yet, um, it will uh, give a lot of liquid which will account for some of the weight. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put a lid on for two minutes. I'll just add our 10 grams of butter and get that to come out. That will just enrich it even more. So just let that butter melt in. I'll put the lid on for two minutes and then that will be ready. So that's had about two minutes. The butter has all melted into the risotto and so we're now ready to serve it. Okay, so there you have it. Let's give it a try. It smells lovely. Got a lovely creamy texture. You can taste the white wine in there. You can taste the herbs. You can taste the lemon uh, from the citrus uh, mix. You can taste the fennel. You can taste the onion and the celery. Mm. And the rice is lovely and creamy. So I really hope you'll give it a go yourself. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you'll give the uh, recipe a go yourself, and let me know in the comments how it comes out and what seafood you put in it.
and uh, what additions you made to it. And as I say, check out these uh, Simply Cook review and the other recipes if you haven't done so already. Please give the video a like if you found it helpful. Um, and subscribe if you haven't done so already and ring that bell for notifications. As I say, there's one more recipe to go. Honey mustard chicken. So look out for that. And as I say, there's another two I did previously. Thank you as always uh, for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. Uh, bye for now.